the Portland Night Ride shows the lighter side of Oregon cycling. Where about 1,500 riders dress up to celebrate the long Portland summer evening. The Wicked Witches of the South, East, and West were there, as well as Toto and Dorothy. One of the three musketeers, the other two lurking about somewhere, as well as Ms. Underpants and her captain. And these are just a few of the ladies of the evening, and I mean that in the good sense of the term. And many of the bikes were also in costume. This was one of my favorites. Rhyme to the gods of the Portland Night Ride. The mood was festive at the start, as we were immersed in a sea of blinking lights and ringing bicycle bells. The riders left and rose, sent off by the fantastic last regiment of the syncopated drummers, a fixture at many Portland cycling events. Shortly after 9, we climb the entrance to the Broadway Bridge, following Dorothy and Toto. At the outset of our 15-mile journey, we had a beautiful view from the Broadway Bridge of the East Bank of the Willamette. The ride then heads through an industrial part of town before heading north through the Albina district. The Mississippi Street Fair was just closing down and is, is typical on a warm Portland summer night. There were hundreds of people on the street enjoying a warm summer evening. With Portland weather so dark, damp, and dreary most of the year, a nice summer evening will have Portlanders dancing in the streets. After leaving the Albina district, the ride heads west along the Willamette River out towards the University of Portland. This part of the ride is up on the bluff and features a fantastic view of downtown Portland and the West Hills. This is the second of two rest stops. This one features a disco, bogo dancers, and fire dancers. There's nothing like seeing people disco in lycra and cleats. The first rest stop, which I didn't film, 
included movies and popcorn. Movies presented by Filmed by Bike. After the second rest stop, it's about five miles along Vancouver Avenue to the start finish. Music at the finish was provided by Zimbia Marimba Band. And there were donuts. More donuts than even Alan Stamity could draw. But who needs donuts when there's love? And there's plenty of love to be had at the Portland Night Ride. I recommend it and hope to see you there next year.